and now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lamers. Welcome back, everybody. We are getting a look at the first light of the day today overlooking Lake Winnebago and Oshkosh, where it is two below zero. And in some cases, we have some black ice on the roadways. Make sure you're taking it a little slow out there. Plus, some blowing and drifting could be possible. And I think we get a good look at some sunshine throughout our morning before the afternoon when a steadier brand of some thin clouds begin to move in here. Now, with an overcast sky for the afternoon, we're also going to I talk about some flurries too, non accumulating for us today, but certainly breezy and cold today will be the general rule with a high near 10 degrees. Now, with the wind out there this morning, that's left over from yesterday. We have a winter weather advisory, which lasts until 10 o'clock. Again, that's for the blowing and drifting and the bitter cold wind chills and just a plain old wind chill advisory down to the south that lasts until 9 a.m until we can start to improve what it feels like out there just a little bit. Right now, we are either in the single digits above or below zero, except for Antigo. You're at 10 below the normal cold spot up to the northwest of us. Some of the wind gusts still left over this morning, anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour, but the general sustained wind is west to northwest from 10 to 20. So if you're driving northbound or southbound, I-41, I-43, or let's say 141 up to the north, you may get that crosswind a little bit and notice that breeze out there. Especially if you're outside, this is what it's going to feel like for you. Anywhere from 15 to 25 below zero is how we kick off the morning. Antico, look at that, 35 below zero. So extremely cold once again as we start. Wear the layers today because I don't think we get uh, really above zero at all today, even with the afternoon um, coming up to about 10 degrees on the thermometer. Now, later tonight, we're still below zero. Same thing with... Tuesday morning. So as we go out and step out the door tomorrow, it's still going to still going to be a little bit cold before we can warm up just a little bit into the afternoon. Now, here's what's going on. We have colder brand of air moving across the upper Midwest. And of course, we have that wind from this area of low pressure. It's out of here now, but the influence is still there uh, giving us that wind today. We have mainly clear skies right now. And then you see that little energy out to the west of us. I don't think it's going to be a huge uh, snowmaker for us, even though it's bringing some snow right now just to the southwest of La Crosse. So let's track it here on Futurecast. It kind of winds down a little bit. But by this afternoon, again, underneath some of those clouds could be some flurries. I think that's just about it. Now, here's 4 o'clock this afternoon. Looks like we're pretty much dry from this. Later tonight, uh, partly cloudy skies can be anticipated. So for tomorrow now, let's watch this. Increasing cloud cover can be expected. Here's the noon hour. We're still dry. Notice the snow showers rolling in, though. That's tomorrow afternoon and evening going into Wednesday. It looks like we're going to be around the snow for just a little bit, and it can tally up. Uh, two to five inches is what I'm expecting. Again, this is a total snow accumulation from Tuesday into Wednesday. So some shoveling, maybe some snow blowing in some cases can't be ruled out for this week. For today, breezy and cold with daytime wind chills from 5 to 15 below and highs in the low teens. For tonight, partly cloudy. Again, that chance of flurry is probably early on, but we do fall below zero with the air temperatures once again. Here's your seven day feeling more like winter instead of getting closer to spring. The next snow chance tomorrow into Wednesday. Thursday, we're dry. Another system will bring us snow Friday into Saturday. Sunday's temp only to 10 degrees.